Maria Romina Calderon, followed by Maria Bortoletto. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Cynthia Calderon, and I'm an undocumented American asking to please don't fail to recognize the importance of education regardless of status of a person. I came to this country when I was, uh, when I was 14. Back then, I wasn't aware that so many things will be taken away from my life due to my legal status, which I didn't choose. With a big effort and sacrificing a lot of my necessities, also my family's necessities, I will be graduating in Norwalk Community College with an associate in medical management. However, I fear that my education might stop there because of my restrictions that undocumented students face and can achieve these requirements. I don't want my education to stop here. My dream is to continue for even higher education to become, to become a social worker to help, to help and make a difference in my community. Education is a key to opportunity in our society. We only need that, that key to open the door to an educated future. A freedom to choose and learn, a necessity in all aspects of improvement. <clears throat> and if it if, and if this country didn't modify or improve its laws, today we will live in a country segregated. Today we wouldn't have an African American president and many other people who struggled and overcame to be outstanding people, just like your parents or many of immigrants, because this country is made of immigrants. Uh, I know most of you have children and will fight to make changes to improve their lives, just as my parents. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. I just have a couple questions because mm -hmm. um, I wasn't clear. Um, you said you came here when you were 14? Yes. And you're now where in school? I'm sorry? Where are you now in school? Norwalk Community College. Nor and, you, mm -hmm. and, your, and your major there? Uh, medical management. Medical management. So what does that entail? Uh, I'll be a medical assistant, and, but it's an associate's degree, so I can, do, I can be a manager and I can, be, I can do clinicals which is similar to what a nurse does. So you're saying you've been able to access community college at this point? Yes. And um, is it your concern that when you finish at community college, you won't be able to afford the next step? Yes. Um, I will be, I'm paying right now out-of-state institution, and it's really expensive. I mean, my parents pay me, uh, pay for my education, and I pay for my education as well. But it's really hard, and even if I go to a four-year college, it's even harder now because it's more expensive, and, it, and it's, I think, three times more than what I've been paying. So is it your testimony that you wouldn't be able to access the next level no, after I community be. college? Um, and what do you, what do you want to do? What's wanna, your dream? I want to be a social worker. A I want to improve people's lives, children especially. So sometimes that takes a master's degree. <laughs> yes, I actually want to get a master's, uh -huh. and and I want to keep studying. But um. And and but where did your family emigrate from? Peru. From Peru. Yes. Okay. Um, my parents went back to Peru, and my brother graduated from Sacred Heart University, but he had to come. He went back to Peru because he couldn't find more opportunities. Yeah. Okay. And he stopped fighting, but I just want to continue here. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Any other questions from committee members? Nope. You did a great job.